I have so much footage that a lot of it can be played on a YouTube channel that will never be seen in the film itself. Okay. Because it's too much. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. So that yeah. said, that's great content that you that you can cross promote on YouTube and Twitter. Okay. And that will definitely gain you uh, a Twitter following that you can market your film to. Okay. Uh, one other thing you want to do is create a hashtag. And a hashtag... A what? A hashtag, which is H-A-S-H-T-A-G, hashtag. Like corned beef hash, hashtag. Uh -huh. Hashtag, got it. And what a hashtag what? is, it's kind of like a tattoo to a certain degree uh, for your tweets. You use the use the number sign, and there are certain topics, certain trending topics that are popular on Twitter throughout the day and throughout the world. And like, prime example, um, over the weekend, you know, a lot has been going on with Egypt. That's right. So people who were tweeting about Egypt or tweeting about. Uh, the revolution and stuff going on there, there's a hashtag that's been created. They, people would do their tweet, and at the end of their tweet, they do the number sign and then Egypt. Or they would oh. do hashtag January 25th. I think that's when the protest started was January 25th. So that, that hashtag has been created. So people that want to see tweets about the Egyptian revolution or whatever's going on in Egypt, they can go to Twitter and do a search for that hashtag. And every tweet that came up using that hashtag will just pop up. That's great. So, so how do you make the hashtag? Um, you could, well, figure out for, for your film, you've already cre created a short name, a short name for your Twitter profile. For your hashtag, it's going to be the number sign, uh -huh. and then your uh, another, either a short name of your film, the same short name of your film, uh -huh. which is what I would suggest. Or, or the same name, huh? Or you, or you could do something different. Um, you could do since it's about my version of it or something. Yeah, something about New South or. Moving back, or something like that. I like that. That's far better. Every time you do a tweet, use uh -huh. that hashtag, and then ask other, and other people will begin to use that hashtag too in reference to your film. Got it. That's great. And so then you can always That's go. I, so now when you make the hashtag, all the words are going to go together, right? Yes, all the words go together. You don't put any spaces in your hashtag. Okay. All right. Now, and going back to creating your actual Twitter profile, and this is important, too, that a lot of people miss this step. You want to do a link, of course, back either to your film website or something related to the film. I would say your website. Um, okay. But then also do a nice bio. A lot of people don't want to do a bio for some reason. Um, I have a great bio. I have a great one. Okay. Uh, so yeah. be sure to put that also... Because as new people come to know, uh, come to your Twitter profile page, you know, that's pretty much your introduction. Yeah, okay. What do you suggest in terms of time spent? Because all of this, the, for example, the things that you're saying, which are extremely uh, very excellent tools, in order for them to be impactful, and for you to attract followers and, and to create a community primarily of followers or that a community that you're a part of, how much how would you suggest posting as you know, posting on Twitter? Would it be just haphazardly or no, on no, the no. mornings or the evening? How do you do it? I would ne I would ne never suggest doing something all willy nilly. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> what what yeah. what I do is I automate. There are tools. Uh -huh. you, there are, since you're most familiar with Facebook, what yeah. you can do is tie your Facebook to your Twitter account. 
wherein whenever you post something on Facebook, it feeds your Twitter account. So, yes, I do that. I do that. And, and, and one of the things I found to be somewhat of an of a, a obstacle was that, for example, on my Facebook account, okay, I have my personal page. Then I have my, I have two additional pages, one for my film project and one for my business. And Twitter will only connect to one. It won't connect to all three. Uh, at least I don't know how to do that. Well, see, the thing, and, the thing is, if you sign up with Hootsuite, Hootsuite okay. will allow you to attach your Facebook fan page, your personal profile page, as well as your Twitter account. Ah. And you oh, get, so it'll, it'll, it'll attach all three of my pages to my Twitter account on Hootsuite. Uh-huh, on Hootsuite, uh-huh. So you can save, oh, your, good. You can save yourself a considerable amount of time by uh -huh. using Hootsuite, and TweetDeck would do this too, but I like Hootsuite better because it's internet-based. Okay. TweetDeck literally sits uh, on your computer, and it, it can, depending on the power of your computer, it could slow things down a little bit. And then, okay. you can, and then you can schedule your tweets or your Facebook status updates on Hootsuite as well. Say you want to, something yeah. to post at noon. You don't want to post it now, but you want to post it three hours later. Uh -huh. To the same accounts or maybe to different accounts. Okay. It will allow you to do that. Okay, and so, so, but, but again, I, okay, that's great. My question still is, how often should one be posting on Twitter? That's, I guess that's my question. Um, depend, if, it, if you just want to market your film, uh -huh. uh, you don't have to push something out every hour of the day. It's not necessary. No, no, I don't have time to do it, and I don't even want to do it that way. No. I just want to do it in a, a, effectively. Effectively, I would say probably once or twice in the morning, just like you okay. do with Facebook. Once or twice, check it in the afternoon. Because uh -huh. for the most part, where social media is concerned, people are really, are really active in the morning. Uh-huh. Uh, anywhere between, I'd say, 8 a.m. Eastern Time to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then in the afternoon, maybe around 3, 4 o'clock, because that's usually when the, when the office slump <laughs> kind of sets in, because people are ready, mm -hmm. trying to get over the hump to get home. Sure. And then in the evening, around 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening, mm -hmm. up until maybe okay. 8 Eastern, Eastern time, because people generally jump on early in the morning, you know, to, to catch the news of the day, and uh -huh. then maybe mid-afternoon, uh -huh. around 3 o'clock or so, and then in the evening, around 5 o'clock, because 5 o'clock, our time, is, a, is 8 o'clock East Coast time, so most, po most people are already away from work, they, you know, they're probably already at home on their computers. It's a pretty much a guarantee. Once you begin becoming more active on Twitter, yeah. then more people will begin to follow you. And don't be afraid to reach out to people on Twitter. If you do a search and you see people talking about a subject that's related to what you do or to your film, it's not like in person where people are like, why, why are you in our conversation? <laughs> where on Twitter... <laughs> on, but, okay, on, and now here's the, here's the other question that I think for me, in a sense, is the main question. Although, I don't think there's a specific answer to it, but I'm interested in your answer, uh -huh. um, is that what, do you, what, do you, what is the advantage of using Twitter? A lot of people, one, where Twitter are concerned, they like the immediacy of it. It's literally like having that, um, that stock, you know how the stock, when you're on Bloomberg or, or CNN, uh -huh. streaming across your your, uh, your screen, uh -huh. think of all of that information. Now, some of that information you're not even going to want. That's a, that's a given. But some uh -huh. of that information you will want. A great, uh, probably more of it than you probably than you'll come to realize. And uh -huh. because those individuals you can connect to so quickly, because you can get in and get out. 
What I find on Facebook, Facebook kind of draws you in, and it's hard to get out. You have to pull yourself out of Facebook. <laughs> you have to pull yourself out of there, that's for sure. Totally do. And um, uh -huh. Twitter is just trying to be Twitter. Facebook is trying exactly. to be everything that everybody else, so that you don't have, ever have to leave Facebook. And always be, you know, always be careful to um, to definitely respond to people when 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 a comment does come up, or. Yeah. Um, and be sure to retweet other stuff, too, because what happens is when I first started on Twitter, I can be quite chatty on Twitter, too, because I'm an information junkie to a certain de degree. But what happened was okay. I just started retweeting good stuff. If I okay. saw if somebody posted some tips or somebody posted a great photo or somebody posted, you know, anything that I thought was was great info or worth sharing, I would retweet it. Whether they okay. were following me or not wasn't even the issue. And lo and behold, more and more people started following me because I would retweet their tweets. Okay. Okay. And then they started. Well, that's cool. And then they would start retweeting my tweets. Okay. And that's pretty much how the relationship began. And then, you know, a mere thank you. People still like to hear thank you. <laughs> Uh, thank That's you. Right. You thanks for thanks for retweets, and um, like there used to be on Twitter, follow Friday. And some people still do it. Um, it's like the hashtag FF, which is follow Friday. And uh -huh. when you begin engaging with people and talking with people, they'll suggest you to follow to all of their friends, to all of their followers. Oh, oh really? And then that's another way too of starting out. If you do a follow Friday and say follow these people, what happens is every time you do an at mention, they see it. They see every time they are mentioned in their Twitter stream. Okay. Okay. And then they're more apt to follow you and then turn around and say, well, follow this person. Okay. Uh -huh. It's great information, huh? So, you know, just to know how little I know about Twitter. Okay. Well, as much as you want to automate your process, you don't want to automate mm -hmm. it so much wherein you lose your personality. Okay. You don't want to become just that, 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 that profile where you don't even feel like there's, any, there's not a person behind it. You want right. to still yeah. periodically check in and respond with people. You know, do something like, well, I'm headed to a conference. If you're headed to something that's related to the film, like either the American um, Pan-African Film Festival is coming up, um, mm -hmm. film festival conferences, or you're meeting with other filmmakers, you know, you can start tweeting that information. Now, let me ask you a question. I just was looking at something on Twitter, and this is a thing where uh, Twitter will, if you grant them access to your Gmail contact list, are you familiar with this? Yeah, because... What you can do is, for the, every time you sign up with any social media application, you use an email. Whether it be Gmail, Yahoo, or, or AOL. And what happens is, to help you gain followers, they'll say, well, look, if you've got some friends on Gmail, and if they signed up to Twitter on Gmail, we can send an invite. Well, that's what I'm going to do. And then also, another way... To promote your okay. Twitter profile is put it in your email. Put it in your email signature. Oh, yes. Okay. Put, put all your social uh, media profiles, or not, m maybe not all of them, but, you know, the ones that you really uh -huh. want to promote, put them sure. in your email signature. Okay. And get, well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just so intrigued and so, feel so blessed that you picked me out. I don't know how you did that, but... Um, I'm happy that you did, and I'm extremely grateful to the tips you've given me on uh, on Twitter because I'm going to I'm going to put it together immediately. And It'd be great because then they can they can see your success story in themselves, hopefully. Okay, great, fantastic. Um, I'm I'm psyched. Okay, great. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> then. All right then. All right, okay. bye bye. Bye bye.